Hey, bud. Welcome back. Episode 25, Don't Be Sorry, Be Better podcast. Happy 420. Happy 420. It's been a while. It has been a while. It's been a while. Back in parts unknown. Yeah. The elevated trap house. Hudson Valley <sighs> trap house. So I've been absolutely <laughs> dying for this moment because I have oh, man. so many questions. You guys are in for a real treat. You have to unpack the story, and we have to we have to talk about it. Oh, I need to let me pack a Zimbabwe. For this one. <laughs> All right, so I'll give a little backstory. So my lady, she does hair. She's been cutting this woman's hair for a long time. She cuts her daughter's woman, uh, this woman's daughter's hair as well. This girl, she's like, uh, I don't know, probably like mid to late mid thirties, probably mm-hmm. young, really pretty. She's a lawyer, lives in the city, and she has a friend. This girl's be- has a best friend. Another late 20s, like 27, 28 year old girl, great career, you know, really smart, educated, hasn't put any effort or interest into like dating. She's just been education and career focused as many Mm -hmm. 27 year old girls are nowadays, right? So this girl and her other friends, they convinced this girl, you should get on, do some online dating. Like you have a really good job, like be nice to meet somebody, right? Yeah. Yeah. But he's lonely. Mm-hmm. This girl gets sets up a hinge profile. Starts mean people, meets this guy, goes on a date with him. Hit it off. Fireworks. Go get coffee in the day. They were together like three hours, talked. It was amazing. This guy's so good. This guy's great. Oh my God. He's like a really he has a really like high level job in finance because they're in, you know, New York mm-hmm. City. So he's going to London for a couple of weeks uh, in a few days, and he's going to be gone for like two weeks, but we're talking, and I'm going to see when he gets back. Okay, cool, right? You know, mm-hmm. Sounds like a legit story, right? Yeah. yeah. So this guy reaches out to her about a week later when he's supposedly at the airport. He says, hey, how you doing? Uh, my flight got delayed until tomorrow morning. I have nothing to do. I thought I'd be on my way to London right now. Like, do you want to meet up and like just hang out until you know, I'd have to go tomorrow morning? She's like, yeah, totally. It's great. This girl lives in Hoboken. Mm-hmm. So the guy's like, all right, I'll come to you. So he comes to her from JFK, you know, international, so JFK, to Hoboken. They hang out all day. Another great day. This guy is a total gentleman. He's got his suitcase, his rolly bag, everything, right? So, like, the end of the day comes, and he goes, oh, it's so late. Could I just, like, sleep here? Like, doesn't, doesn't make a move on her, doesn't try to, like, sleep with her, nothing. I just crash on your couch and like my flight's at six. So I'll just like leave here. I'm going to sleep for a couple hours and just take an Uber to the airport. She's like, okay, sure. No problem. Guy was a total gentleman. So they go their separate ways. She goes to bed. He goes to bed. When she goes to bed, she just has this feeling that I'm going to lock my door. Like I just really great, but I don't know this guy. I'm going to lock my door. Right? Yeah. So she locks her door, goes to bed. And again, this guy's given her no reason to lock her door. Yeah. She goes to bed. A couple hours later, knock, knock, knock on the door. Hey, what's up? Hey, can you open up the door? It's this guy now. Yeah. She's like, uh, well, what's going on? You know, like the exchange of like, you're like, just open. I got to talk to you. And she's like, um, why don't you just tell me? You know, through the just a little odd, that odd yeah. feeling, right? Yeah, yeah. He goes from being like, hey, you know, open the door to open up the fucking door now, bitch. Like, (laughs) yeah, open up the fucking door, pounding on the door, kicking on the door. Now, mind you, this girl doesn't live in some like shitty Heatherwood communities apartments with those paper thin doors. It's like, it's a good solid, solid solid door. It's one of those nice apartments. They like a real lock. Where they're like, let's gentrify Hoboken and put in nice apartments, right? So it's like a good proper door. This guy's pounding on the door. This girl is freaking out. Like, understandably so. On the phone with 911. Oh my God. You know, the whole story, whatever. Yeah. Okay, we're sending cops right away. Cops show up. She's hysterical on the phone still, 911. The cops knock on the door like, ma'am, this is the police. The guy's here. Please let us in. She opens up the door and says, okay, let them in. It's the cops. They're there. Everything's okay, honey, whatever. Police officer opens up the door. After they check everything, they check the whole apartment to make sure this guy isn't hiding Mm, under a couch. Yeah. (sighs) The police officer goes to the girl and says, all right, you're going to, Come out of the bedroom, obviously, now, but I just want you to prepare yourself because you're not going to be able to really understand what you're about to see. Oh, my God. The police officer is telling this girl this. 
So when I first heard the story, I'm like, oh, this guy just is fucking killed himself on the couch. Right? That's what I was. I was that's immediately what I thought, like, oh, yeah. some guy like just suicide, hung himself and jerked <laughs> off to death. You know, like whatever. <laughs> if only it was something so innocent as a man <laughs> hanging himself and jerking off in a closet. Autoerotic asphyxiation. Something so simple as autoerotic asphyxiation. Well, <laughs> it was not. Yeah. This girl exits her room into her living room and proceeds to find her entire living room tarped up and saran wrapped like a fucking episode of Dexter. Oh my God. Her dining, dude, I have like, I, I literally, my, my head like the chills even talking about it. Her whole dining room table completely saran wrapped. There was cutting instruments on the table and the rolly bag was still there. His suitcase for his trip was to, empty. Assuming it was going to be her fucking body in there. Oh my God. Yeah. So she freaked out, whatever. Yeah. Long story short, I don't really know. I'm going to get more details. Did they, did they catch him? They didn't catch him. Uh, his phone was shut off after like immediately phone was shut off. His hinge profile was deactivated. I, I don't know. I wonder. All right, so I have so many questions. So many, qu so many, so questions. many questions. Like obvious questions. Like is was like that guy has done that before, or or that was his that first was his time. first, and it went horribly wrong. Yeah. Now, what do you? Because the police were telling the girl, you know, and the whole thing. Like, there's they've been they've been dealing with a lot of organ theft, but to me, that doesn't sound like organ theft. That's because organ yeah. theft. I'm meeting a girl. You wake up I, in a bathtub. Yeah, yeah I'm like, we're getting uh, out. I'm, 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 I'm charming you to disarm you, and I'm gonna roof you, and then you just have your kidneys missing. Yeah. Like, no, this I was like, like I'm gonna. <laughs> this guy yeah. wanted to see the terror in this woman's eyes. Yeah, like that's some dark yeah. fucking yeah. shit right there. Yeah, that's super dark. So she woke up to him knocking on the door, right? Yes. And obviously, she lived in a nice apartment, so the doors are heavy. So obviously, she wouldn't be. But imagine how long. Do you think it took him to like tarp and saran wrap that whole a couple of hours? Like imagine you're in your room and you're just hearing the saran wrap stretch and pull rip stretch. It's probably like, 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 so like, like a noise machine. You're going like, on. is this guy jerking off in my living room right now? What is that? She just like completely wrecked. She comes outside, he's just completely wrapped in saran wrap, jerking off on the couch. With choking inside of his own belt. <laughs> That's so crazy. It's so crazy. So, so crazy. So, you know, I, I was talking about this with Devin. Yeah. And um, because I'm like, oh, what happened? Like, did they were fine. She's like, I don't know. She's like, I'm going to next time I see the mom, because it was this, girl, this girl's best friend. Yeah, I'm, like, yeah. I'm going to find out. From what I know, the girl like left Hoboken. She's like, small town girl in a big city. Nope, bitch. Go back yeah, to your fucking small town. Yeah, move home with my parents yeah, no, and I, never leave the fucking no, like, basement I, again. I literally think she's like back home with her family. Like, she's like, you I'm not fucking, I'm going to be a vir boarding a virgin. She was like, but, she, <laughs> she, it's a crazy story. She was, she was, a, she was an inch and a half of wood away from being a Keith Morrison story. <laughs> I was like, how do they not oh find it? I said, how do they not find that guy, yeah. you know? Yeah. Like yeah. with everything is tracked and cameras and this and that. And But the Devin said something kind of funny. She's like, yeah, but what do they do then? I'm like, what do you mean? She's like, they find him. What do they do? Arrest him? Or well, I said, yeah, they arrest him. She's like, but for what though? He didn't do anything. I'm like. It's mm, premeditated. To what though? He murder. Made, they prove that he was going to murder her. They're cutting it. It's tools. a lot of he said. Uh, believe me, believe me. I'm, 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 I'm just trying to play devil's advocate because she's like, yeah, but he didn't do anything. I'm like, what do you mean? He like raps like, okay. She's like, is wrapping a, a house in saran wrap a crime? I'm like, no, but it's suggestive of a potential crime. Yeah, cutting tools. She's like, the he whole could, process. He could just say that she was into it. That it was like a whole kink. She's like, oh, I mean, I, like, I was like, eh, but then again, I'm like, oh, you have a good enough lawyer. Like where, what is, what is the crime? Forget about like, oh, let's, what, what could have been all so that you guy's crazy. What's so you the think crime? That's circumstantial that they wouldn't, I don't be able, know. they wouldn't be a good case. After she bought it up, mm -hmm. I thought that if I had a good enough lawyer, I think you could like beat that. No, I don't know. I don't know. Be like, what are you talking about, officer? She was totally into it. The girl's, yeah. the girl's a freak show. And I want her to reimburse me for all the money I spent on like, saran wrap. Yeah, do you know how much? You know how, you know how expensive that saran wrap was? But, but like, officer, do you have any idea how much <laughs> a two year supply of saran wrap from Restaurant Depot costs? <laughs> this is absurd. 
I want my I, fucking money back. I want my saran wrap. Yeah. I want my tarps. Yeah. Those tarps are $40 a piece. I actually wasn't even into it. It was her idea. Yeah, she was all I into have it. PTSD from it. I was skeptical of it. <laughs> No, but I don't know. Like, is there is is it valid? Is like, does a law is there a lawyer who's like, yeah, I'll take that case. Like, did you? Is there any? I mean, if you have, any witnesses, if you have money, yeah, any lawyer would take a case if you have money, right? even if it's an unwinnable case. Yeah, I mean, you pay it. I don't know, it. but like, what is actually? I got to see her sister because she's a cop. I got to ask. But like, what is the crime? What is actually? I mean, the crime? I would think it's premeditated attempted murder. Yeah, but prove banging on the door and cursing at her. I. Th- think would be prove that i banged while, on the door and while she's on the phone with 911 i'd have to be good audio yeah were there any threats made open the door you i'm gonna kill you did, did you say i'm gonna kill you uh, that's i'm just trying to play devil's advocate I've, i obviously it's sick like the guy was into some nefarious shit but like you know he was such yeah but he you got like, away with it you, you didn't get caught kind of sold hard because he was like such a good like finesse salesman to like get all the way there to get stopped by a door you know what i mean <sighs> It's like, oh, come on! I'm, a, I'm actually I'm like about, right here. Literally, literally said anything. Like, oh, I'm about to actually leave right now to go to the airport. I just wanted to say goodbye. Thank you so much. Open the door. Gotcha, bitch. Yeah, right. right? Like, could have coerced it a little bit more. His adrenaline I, was pumping too much. It probably. It, oh, I would have to guess that that would probably his first attempt. You think that was his first attempt? Yeah, because that's what when you watch these like that seems murder very... mystery serial killer shows, they always say that, like the the first ones are the clumsy ones, and then mm. like they perfect. The method, yeah, because like, why wouldn't you just try? Just gotta go for cheap bitches that live in Heatherwood. (laughs) Get right through that paper mache door. It's scary out there. I was talking to Devin about that too. I was like, it's scary out there for women because you know she's a tough. And I said, I don't care what color belt you have or how many stripes you got on it. Like, you can't out jujitsu my charm. Yeah, you know what I mean. I'm like, our first date was like, you came home with me. (laughs) I was like, like, we were drinking. Like, I could have just roofied you and dismembered your body for an entire weekend. Like, I don't know. Like (laughs) the things, (laughs) the things I could have done to you. Just it's with, true though. It's no, true. But, it, but it's true. It's one hundred percent true. They, this this poor girl, nice guy, hasn't dated. Oh, he's so nice. Probably he was probably nice to her. He probably held the door open. Made, super nice. Let's have her, coffee. Yeah, very unassuming. Laugh. Like fucking acted, didn't didn't make a move. Acted super. Interested. Didn't make a move. That's what I'm saying. So like he fumbled it at the at the goal line. I think you gotta like just roofie him though. <laughs> I think you gotta like like why that's too yeah you gotta cut you gotta cut the. The, the door knocking. Yeah. Out. Like, yeah. you got to you you know, then wrap the, the room. I would, literally, it would have been like, hey, I'm actually going to leave now to go to the airport. I just want to say bye to you. Thank you so much. Like, she would open the door. Yeah, right. 100%. Like, how do you fumble the sales pitch? How do you he get fumbled to- fumbled at the goal line. He I, had it. He didn't want it. He, he didn't want it enough. He didn't, he didn't want, want it enough. bad enough. Yeah. Maybe that was that. Maybe that's his kink. He's not actually a killer. His kink is to set it up. It's like edging. <laughs> he's the. He's, he's edging. He's like an edging. Ed, he's an edger of. He's a serial serial killer edger. edger. He's a serial, <laughs> serial edger. edger. He gets it right up to the line. Like wraps <laughs> the whole thing in saran wrap. Brings terror to the in the heart of the fucking victim, and then just leaves. Never has any intention of killing them. Man, just brings it all up. He's just he's an edger. He's a serial fucking like edger. A serial edger. <laughs> Is that a thing? Is that a crime? I could see that being kind of fun, <laughs> right? I don't know. I think your brother's got a couple <laughs> rolls of saran wrap from Restaurant Depot he's here. Definitely got the, <laughs> he's got the big roll of fucking yeah, uh, yeah. The, the clink, the, the, the <laughs> aluminum foil. What if he came back and we <laughs> saran? This is a, it's a science experiment. We're going to see how long it takes to saran wrap this whole room. <laughs> we timed it. <laughs> it was, how long do you think it would take? <sighs> I mean, I don't know how good the room was saran wrapped. I'm sure it was just like some tarps I see, over the couches. In my couches. mind, what I picture is like, nah, bro, you could like, do it in fucking twenty like, minutes, bro. Like twenty floor minutes. to ceiling, like saran wrap everywhere. And I also just like picture this guy like violently saran wrapping stuff at two thirty in the morning. He's like, he's like fuck. I should have brought a tarp. <laughs> no, I think it was like tarps on the couch and then the table saran wrapped. Jesus. I don't know how detailed it was. It was so enough. that's what he had in his rolly bag. That's what he had in his rolly cutting bag. utensils, it cutting was a, tools. It was a large rolly bag. He had some. Well, knives. What were the cutting tools? They were knives. They, I, I don't know, something that would cut. Like if he flesh. had the, those, like those Dexter, like you know, yeah. the, you know, like the, I, the listen, murder, you know, the murder tools. I, yeah, yeah. I, I want more details. Yeah, I need more. I need more. I need more. Which, like, how does that not? How was that not like 
in the post or on yeah where's the news the article internet? on that watch out fucking hoboken fucking girls yeah, Jesus. It, it, it's not like it was some like next stop black chick Pittsburgh. from the hood and nobody like talks about the terrible shit but no because like he would have got right through that he would have got right through that door that's what that's what i'm saying <laughs> it was like some white girl with a good job <laughs> yeah like how did that not like that's terrifying but she lived in like an expensive building where like the neighbors can't hear shit obviously I mean, Fucking <laughs> the neighbors like what the fuck is all that fucking saran wrap? Nah, fucking no, no neighbors here. Shit. They don't want to find. Nobody wants to say anything, bro. People have yeah. fucked up. But yeah. where's like um, where's the liability on these dating apps though? Because you have to, you have to think right. Like, shouldn't they verify who these people are? If you're gonna set up a Hinge account or a Tinder or Bumble or whatever, I mean, what do you need to set up one of those accounts? You need a fucking, social media, don't you? Need a social media, no, page bro. You need an email, email address. That's it. Well, you acting like you don't have a like you don't know how to set up a Tinder profile, dog. I haven't had one in so long. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, you need an email address. But that's what I'm saying. At the very least, like they don't make I mean, they don't make you upload a. a you know, a copy of your driver's license to make sure you're, uh, you know, a real person, A. B, maybe run a quick background check to make sure you're not a, like a sexual predator, you know, predator. Not that, that I mean, there's a lot of people who probably, like this guy, the guy probably isn't a predator on I mean, a list. Maybe he is. But like, what, where, where's the... Uh, he definitely has thought. Uh, his search history must be wild. Wild? Who is this guy? He just has Dexter playing in the background on repeat 24 Fuck. hours a day while he's fucking putting lipstick on and... <laughs> vigorously masturbating to fucking i like the theory that he, i like the theory that he's a serial ledger i like that serial ledger that's a good one that's a good idea for a movie yeah. right that's a great idea for a movie have Does, sam rockwell play the the serial ledger it's like listen i don't actually kill people but i like to i like to get i like to work it right up to that moment and i never tell the person that my intention was and not I, to kill them and i practice even retention <laughs> People is sick, dude. Dude, that's wild. What a crazy story. I gotta like I wanna see what this who is this guy? What does he look like? He looks like some fucking Chad bro fucking <laughs> finance guy. He probably looks like Paul. <laughs> <laughs> He literally probably looks like Paul. I mean, this girl, like this, he definitely this, looks this like Paul. friends like a good looking girl. I don't say yeah. this girl's gorgeous. So I'm sure this girl she's friends with is another gorgeous fucking girl. It's probably a good Just looking a little. little Little workaholic that's yeah. socially inept. Hot little workaholic who doesn't fucking makes good money. Makes good money. Doesn't need anybody. Yeah. Just wants to have a little company. Maybe Fro she probably froze her eggs. Yeah, froze her eggs. <laughs> just wants to get fucking piped out. You know, that girl. That girl just wanted some dick. That guy. Could, uh, I don't think so. No. If she just wanted some dick, she would have fucked the guy. Well, sometimes girls will make the first move. Mm. This guy clearly does not close a deal. <laughs> I mean, That's what I'm saying. If he had me as a sales coach, this guy would have had like five, five, six bodies already. Fuck. But how easy is it to like get to that point though? If you're a guy and like that's your thing, right? Like yeah. I want to be a serial killer. Mm -hmm. How easy is it to do that? Like if you're a halfway decent looking guy and you have a good sense of humor, how easy is it to just like kill young girls? We're just young girls. Anybody, any <laughs> woman who's just like just, just charm somebody. How and like, easy is to kill people? Uh, just to kill people. I don't know. Like get somebody uh, to that point. Like it's gotta be. But is that the same thing? Like uh, terrifyingly easy. Do you do you? You know how like some people are like more prone to violence, right? They're okay with it. They're okay yeah. with causing physical harm on somebody. Yeah. Like. You'd have to have that extreme, right, to be able to kill somebody, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, yeah. So like that level, but it, but most most serial killers aren't like getting into conflicts. So like they're just like regular bullied, people, like fucking yeah, awkward turtles. Well, I think that's why they're serial killers. I feel like people who are just like more up to just like flip, yeah, like in public. <laughs> Or like, and just be like, ah, they're probably not going to kill anybody because they get it out. The serial killers, they're just yeah, fucking they weirdos. That, they get that poison out. Yeah, they get the poison yeah. out. Like aggressive yeah. people just get their poison out. Like me, I get my poison out. Like I, I don't bottle it up enough to like just start putting people in barrels and liquefying them. Damn. Yeah. Imagine. Crazy. What was he going to do with the body? What was the plan? Bro, he was what was the roly, plan? He was going to rolly bag that out of the right out of the right apartment out of there. Her her. Right, wrapped up in saran wrap. Like, what do you do? What is he doing with the body? What do well, you do? My other question is, why would you have to saran wrap everything? It's her apartment. Because he just wanted to get you know no DNA. So bro. he was going to clean up. I 
God. the scene and it was going to look like she never was there. It would, it, would, right? it, would, it would just make me think it would look like there's just an empty apartment. Yeah, why would you That's make a, a motherfucker? Why that. would you make a bloody, a bloody mess and everything like that? He's not committed to his craft yet. Because if you make the mess, then now they're looking for a murder victim. But if the, it looks like the body was never there, it looks like no crime was committed there. It's just like she just never came home, right? One of those kind of things. Yeah, like they'll eventually figure out this girl was just like in a suitcase, but like that point eight, it it, like it's guy, a little more time. I feel like it just, it, it gives them enough. It just puts some off scent where it's like a missing person instead of they find blood everywhere. Like, that oh, this guy did, that dead. guy just got arrested for that. He, uh, I don't, I don't know. I don't. I don't want to butcher the story because I don't really remember it. I just remember he killed. A, he killed a girl, and he was like, put her in a suitcase, and he was like checking out of a hotel, and they're like, really? She had. She was like two suitcases were just filled with her. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder how many suitcases you need, <laughs> you need for like a five foot five fucking hundred and twenty pound girl. You stuff into one bag. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> one of those big Toomey Rolly bags. <laughs> Some guy died. His girlfriend caught him cheating and put him in a, put him in a suitcase, and she she wouldn't let him out. And he like asphyxiated it. How died. did she get him in? The I suitcase? have no idea. I don't feel bad if you're a grown man and your girlfriend. <laughs> if your like, girlfriend puts you in a suitcase. If you're a grown man and you fit into a suitcase, you probably couldn't defend yourself <laughs> from your girlfriend forcing you to go in a suitcase. You won't make it in the in the post apocalypse life. You're dead. You're you were dead long before you even knew you were dead. God, pal. Yeah. So this guy, he definitely. Hasn't perfected it yet, and he just needs a little more, little more, little more coaching. <laughs> if you're listening, you need, you need reach to, out, yeah. reach out to the podcast. I got a couple books for you to read. You know, I'd love to talk to you. See what the deal is. Te- we do, we teach do. you how to close. <laughs> we can do it unanimously. Listen, you, you get more bees with honey, pal. Christ, yeah. right? Clearly, you cl- open you fucking bitch. Yeah, that's not the move. Clearly, you're charming. Okay, <laughs> just not enough. You're you're right there. <laughs> yeah, you're right on the cusp. Right there. Right on the cusp. Right there. Right on the cusp of greatness. Yeah, you could be one of the great ones. You could be. Right. Yeah, with a little work and help from us, you could be one of the best. Leads you. It makes you wonder though, how many people are successfully doing that. On a daily basis, globally. So that, even globally, just in our country. So that show, there's a show that was on A and E. It was a about. It was originally about the Long Island serial killer, but um, but they they actually like the first couple episodes are about the Long Island serial killer, and then they go to different areas. They were in New Mexico. They were in uh, Atlantic City, and the number that the FBI put out is like on any given day. <laughs> There's over there's over two thousand active serial killers in the United States. I believe it. It's a lot. Two thousand is a lot. It's a lot of people, dude. Yeah, a lot of truck stop girls get fucking killed and bodies dropped off across state lines, and they never even fucking get reported I mean, missing. There's just a lot of people that nobody like really cares. If they nobody's wondering where they are. Or nobody cares. Jesus, but, dude. but again, this guy wasn't trying to do this with some lot lizard in Arizona. This no, was like, like some a successful <laughs> businesswoman that had that can afford <laughs> good like, quality doors. Yeah, some lawyer with good doors. Yeah, thank God. God bless those doors. God bless the doors. I mean, I'm kicking the fucking door down. I'm getting in that door. Like, I'm telling you right now, it's literally be like, right, I'm just, I'm just gonna, I, I, I can't sleep. I'm gonna go to the airport early. I, I didn't want to bother you. I just want to say thank you so much and say goodbye. Your kitchen's on She's fire. She's opening the fucking door, bro. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting in there. I'm I just, in there, dog. I'm in there. I, I didn't, I didn't want to go to London for two weeks without seeing your face one more time. I'm with sorry. A, with a little more work and some help from us, we can get you over the top, sir. I don't know if this is inappropriate, <laughs> but I wanted to see your face one last time before I got on the airplane. Gay, gay. <laughs> Yeah, You're bro. Dead. You need a little more. You're dead. Yeah. Surprise. Surprise. Ah! <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. God. People be getting away with murder. OJ, look at OJ Simpson. R.I.P. Juice. He got away with it for years. Yeah. O- R.I.P. OJ. Damn. He did it. He did it. Did you see the meme that was like right before he died? He was like, <laughs> he was like, like yeah, I did that shit. It was like a shit. Twitter post. Yeah, I did that shit. <laughs> yeah, I did that shit. He made his whole family sign an NDA on his deathbed. What were they talking about? I don't well, know. You're dead. What do you, what happens? You sign an NDA and you talk about it. What a dead person told you. What, what happened? Who sues you? Who yeah. Sues what's you? the purpose of an NDA after? I don't think NDAs. Yeah. Does, is that just like for stupid people who think NDA people, people that are dumb think NDAs mean something. NDA is a piece of paper. It means nothing. People violate NDAs every single day. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, I don't know the purpose of that. How? Who is the NDA made out to after post mortem? Like, how could it be the? Because it's, it's it could be the OJ Simpson estate, the estate of OJ Simpson. Yeah, that's pay, probably what it was. Pays out. Yeah, probably. There's like, if you say anything, you're not entitled. Well, to. Well, here's the. I know why he did it. Because what's going to happen is people in his circle are going to monetize his death and write a tell all book. Or some fucking mm. bullshit. Start doing interviews after OJ died yeah, and fucking yeah, yeah. bringing the whole shit up again. Who cares? You're dead. He cares, obviously. He's dead. He cared. That's why he did it. <laughs> Who cares? He does. He's like, listen, I, I did. I just don't want to talk about this anymore. Yeah, like, I'm just over it. OJ, it so long ago. Who cares? The juice isn't loose anymore. The juice is not loose. Man, he could run the ball though. God. <laughs> One of the greats, right? 11,000 yards. One of the greats. 11,000 yards. Do you think O.J. Simpson would be in today's NFL? He'd, he'd be a beast? Yeah, of he'd course. Totally be a beast. Yeah. Size, skill, fuck yeah. For sure. Yeah, for sure. Some of those like guys, it doesn't matter what ever Because of what he did, he was running a fast running back. Yeah, Fast, yeah, big yeah, running yeah, back. Yeah, like yeah. that's still going to work. Like LT is always LT. LT is yeah, <laughs> fucking monster. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Damn. So yeah, they were talking. I saw uh, on the Rich Eisen podcast they had uh, which one is Randy Quaid? Which one is the crazy one? Which one's the one that's in like the Randy? uh, Randy. Dennis Quaid. Dennis Quaid. The one was in Any Given Sunday. Dennis Quaid. Yeah. yeah. So he was. I love that movie. He was talking about like, like that how the set was and how like they'd all like play like like pickup games and shit and just LT was just like fucking destroying everybody yeah. and then like they played like a lot of golf for like money and like uh yeah they were just saying how much of like a beast like Jim Brown and OJ Simpson were yeah yeah got to be yeah yeah he definitely did it probably yeah get a good lawyer Dude, one of the best videos is when he did that interview with the woman he's like I'll be right back I have a surprise for you and he comes out with a knife and he's like yeah so out it's of like pocket. He had such a good sense of humor. <laughs> he really did. <laughs> you, you know, I mean, you gotta have a good sense. He of was humor. on. He was on uh, the show with whatever the camera on. Camera on yeah. show. And, it is. And they were talking is. about being st- being street. And he was like, he was like, let me remind you. <laughs> and they're like, oh, <laughs> you gotta check in with OJ. <laughs> you gotta check in. Oh man, that's funny. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. So, but yeah. she, does she, that girl. Do you think she ever is going to leave? Like, is she ever going to, like... Would you? I don't know. If you were a girl, would you ever trust her? Would you? you would Why do you th- think that, like, first... Because, listen, when I started dating again, yeah, that was, like, one thing, and I was very, like, shocked by how many girls were just, like, worried about me or any just potential, like, suitor being a serial killer. And I always thought, I'm like, that's ridiculous. I'm like, you really think I'm a serial killer? But I guess it's a completely valid fear. I- so, like, yeah. if girls are just automatically already on guard with that, how are you that girl and just not think that every guy you're going to be with is going to try to murder you? Yeah. That's a lot of therapy. Yeah. It's a lot of therapy. It rhymes with grape. What do you think? Okay. I'm trying to, like, rough envision this, right? You're behind the door, scared out of your mind. Yeah. The cops are like, listen, mm. he's not here. Mm-hmm. We're gonna we're gonna ask you to come out, but yeah. we want to prepare you, yeah, for something that you've probably never seen before, yeah. And then, what is your? How do you feel at that moment? And then the moment you actually see what the fuck was going on? Well, like I said, I think I would just assume that this guy is dead on my couch. I would think that I'm gonna see a dead body. I don't know. You come in, I just be like, what? Be like, like, what? Be like where what? did all this semen come from? <laughs> like, where, why is there cum everywhere? <laughs> <sighs> I thought this guy was an edger. He <laughs> shit my couch? Damn it. <laughs> he fucking pooped right on my floor? <laughs> right on my dining room table? What the fuck? Fuck. <laughs> fuck. Wrote her name in feces and left. <laughs> Blood shit and cum on my hands. <laughs> I don't know what I would think if I saw that. I don't either, honestly. Like, I mean, I guess this girl just started like freaking out and like hyperventilating. I guess yeah, once you dude. feel like, what is this? Why? And why? Like, why I, is there saran wrap everywhere? And then you see the knives and like you put two and two together and you're like, oh. It's like maybe I shouldn't open the door. I guess you really did have something to talk to me about. <laughs> Thank God I didn't open the door. Here's my other. Do you think. <laughs> here's Fuck. another fucked up thing. If, if you came down to. A confrontation between you and a serial killer. Yeah. 
not do you think obviously do you think you could like overtake them and like fucking whatever not that but like do you think that you could persuade them to not kill you i don't know i thought i was gonna have i feel kind of charming i I thought i was gonna i I didn't say less i was gonna have to fight a a murderer off i don't know yeah i don't know i mean i feel pretty charming a serial killer I i don't think so i mean no because like if i'm like what a serial killer wants to kill i'm like I'm that guy's kink. See, six one two forty five. That's what guy. That's what the guy. That's what the he'd guy have to likes. immobilize you though. Imagine like, like uh, you ever see that? You ever see that? Uh, that movie. It's called Tusk. No, I've heard. I've heard so the that. guy. I know the premise. Yeah, I know yeah. the premise. Yeah. So, uh, what's his name? J- Long. What's his last name? Long. He's an actor. Justin Long. Jason Long. Yeah. Whatever his name. Justin is. Long. Yeah. So he has a podcast and he like interviews interesting people. So mm-hmm. he's like in Canada and there's like a post on a bar, on a wall in the bar. Yeah. And it's like, uh, I'm looking for a roommate. Um, yeah. No, and the only, com- the only thing you have to do to be my roommate is listen to my stories. Mm-hmm. So he answers it, it goes to, and then the guy is like, uh, turns him into a walrus. Yeah. I know the concept. Yeah. It, but yeah. like the, he injects him or get, dr- he drinks something that like, paralyzes him but he's very much awake yeah 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 yeah. like that feeling of like you're fucked i don't know i think you're fucked you're like just move your finger just move your finger just move your finger move your finger move your finger move your your arm okay okay let's go let's go if you get to that point someone gets me to that point just take just take the l take i'm dead what am i doing if like someone has me immobilized i can't do anything uh help (laughs) i'd be like what (laughs) Like, what are you doing, bro? Why are you? Oh, that's always the like, in every doing, in every bro? movie. Why are you doing this to me? I'd be like, why? I'd be interested. I'd be like, why me though? Like, really? I was because I was molested by my uncle. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but it's rather aggressive. <laughs> why are you doing this to me? Go molest somebody. <laughs> why, why are you going to kill me? Jesus, it's <laughs> fucked up. It's a scary oh world God. out there. It's fucking terrifying. It's a if scary you can't world. Have to, you have to laugh about it. I don't want to like. Obviously, make fun of the situation. It's obviously a very I don't serious think situation. I don't think it's funny. But Devin I, told me this at ten thirty at night in bed. I didn't go to sleep for like two. Dude, hours. I've been I waiting to talk to you about, about this for two weeks. I I've had so many like scenarios play out in my head where I'm like, "Oh my god, man!" Like he has these cutting tools, but he can't pick a lock. Like, what are we doing? Fuck. It's not like it's a deadbolt. What kind of lock could it be? I think he wanted the struggle. I think he he wanted to see he want he wanted to see. Her open the door and not know what's I going just, on and then figure it out because there's probably a look in the eyes that happens when they figure out I what's happening. That's what he wanted to see. I don't think that he was he was ready to go wanted, through with it. He wanted to see the look. He fumbled at the goal line. He just changed his mind. You think at the end of it, he's just like, and he's like some normal guy, like in his thirties. He's just like, well, what am I doing? He's, <laughs> he's like, what he's am like, I doing? I'm going home. He's like, actually, he's like, off. he's like, my wrist is cramped from stretching all that saran wrap. Fucking, he's like, I'm actually really tired from setting this up. I don't, how am I going to do this now? <laughs> Like, he's like, nah. he's like, I can't do this without post not like, clarity. Fuck you, bitch! You better not come out here. <laughs> Don't make me kill you. At post not clarity, I'm not going to kill you now. I'm over it. It's like all oh, that semen retention was bullshit. <laughs> yeah, I want to try some serial killer edging though. <laughs> that that's a movie right there. That's a fucking movie. <laughs> It'd be like a dark comedy. Yeah, it's a, <laughs> yes, a dark comedy. And he like meets a girl that's like, all right, and like they fall in love, but like that's his thing. He's like, oh, well, I'll I think at the end, he just winds up meeting the girl who's into that, too. And then he kills her. And then he actually kills her. Yeah. He finally completes the edge and he kills her and then comes so hard. <laughs> and then he's just he's like, oh, and it's just like, <laughs> and he's like, that's way better. It's like, oh, my God. He starts killing people. Yeah. Yeah. It's a sick, sick world. You got to be careful if you're a lady out there. Yeah, I would yeah. actually now I would I would used to say that's ridiculous that these women think that guys are serial killers on dating apps, but he very well might be a serial killer. Yep. <laughs> might happen. Sounds, so be careful. Sounds about right. Yeah, if dating wasn't hard enough in today's Man. society, throw that in the mix. Jesus. Dude, it's so crazy. It is. I, at least she's okay. I'm gonna get more information though. Yeah, we need more. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna get I'm gonna get more of like a resolution of the story. Like, where are we now? We could we could have her on blurred face and change her voice. 
You like uh, <laughs> you have to wear a saran wrap mask live, <laughs> live from your parents' basement. <laughs> oh my god, my brother really does have a restaurant depot s- s- saran wrap over there. I told you. Look at all that saran wrap. I we could we could have this place ready in hours. <sighs> I don't hours, right? We pretty quick, dude. Pretty quick. The couch, nah, it's saran wrap. It moves quick. Yeah, I think we could do this whole fucking space in like twenty minutes. Hmm. 20 minutes? Yeah. I mean, what, nah. what are you talking about? The the, ce- the rafters and the ceilings? Bro, too? you have to make this fluid proof. <laughs> you need a tarp. Yeah. You can't just fucking saran wrap everything. You, you got to make this completely fluid proof. I think you just really got to worry about the floors. Nah, shit splatters. We got to make a little box. They always catch shit in like the corner of something. They're like, oh, yeah, well, you look gotta, at that. You got to make a little the killer milk. left his semen in the corner, of the, fucking, <laughs> the corner of the room. Like what? This jizz all over the assault <laughs> flag. <laughs> yeah, there's always. Yeah, you watch a lot enough Law and Order. There's always yeah, semen everywhere. Semen everywhere. No, you got to make a little murder cube. Came in the cereal. Get some tarps. You make a little murder box. You good to go? I think. <laughs> a little murder box. Yeah, a little you just section in one one area off. Yeah, what do you need? A little nine by nine. Murder box? <laughs> what is that? The rights tag coming in? The bombers? Jesus. You hear that? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. So, yeah. That's no, the feds. <laughs> it's the feds. They're, they're catching the, the, the hinge murderer. Yeah. Crazy. Fuck, man. Get it together. Up here, though, they probably kill a lot of people. <laughs> there's fucking, so much murder up here. There's so much murder up here. Probably murder not. Murder mountain. Nah, probably not as much as you think because, like, it's probably a lot harder to get away with a murder up here. Well, we were just joking about that when like, we were driving. Like, how come these aren't, with, like, people like, crashing DWEs yeah, every, every everywhere? Day. Like, in Newark, New Jersey, you could just Kaiser Sose and just, like, walk out of an apartment building and start limping. And, like, you're just. There were so many cameras, though, everywhere, though, now. Yeah, but do those cameras work? Think about how many cameras I mean, don't work. He, she lived in a nice enough building that like they didn't have cheap doors, right? Yeah, okay, but still, so there had to have been cameras but, in the lobby. Yeah, but still though, like if you're in the if you're this guy, yeah. and like you know you're I'm, I'm going to like a murder. This he just house. looks like Paul. He just looks just like, like Paul. A hundred thousand people in that city that just look a, like a Paul. Nondescript white person <laughs> wearing a Patagonia vest and a fucking button down, right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Locked in. Locked just in. Just locked, locked in. in. And you're cognizant of the fact that there are security cameras. So you just, you know, head down like this whole time. Maybe you have a hat on. You yeah. Know, just, the hat's so, the move, I think. Yeah, the hat's the move. And then like, oh, some fucking uh, five foot 11 it's white like, guy <laughs> with a fucking beard and brown hair. Well, that really narrows it down. Yeah. Every fucking finance bro in manhattan yeah to like no that's definitely the guy that's him he's got saran wrap around his around his his, his ankles and his wrists Fuck. <laughs> he's saran wrap so no dna would come out of his fucking Crazy. shirt i wonder like how good looking this guy was like how charming was he this guy must have been super charming Appar- not really, apparently not. not enough Fuck. not quite good enough yeah because if it was me I would have liked been. I'm in that, there, I would, bro. I, I didn't, that that door been, is open. That girl would have been sucking me off from the Uber back <laughs> to the apartment with my rolly bag of murder accoutre monster in the trunk. <laughs> a murder charcuterie board. What's in that bag? Uh, a couple of Patagonia vests. And some fucking top Don't cider. touch my things. <laughs> top ciders. Don't touch my things. Don't touch my things. <laughs> <laughs> it's my archaics jacket. Yeah. You can and come my in my sparries. apartment, but before, open your, open your suitcase. You can come in my apartment. Just don't come in my saran wrap. <laughs> it's like, sick. What if he like went to the bathroom? She like opened his suitcase. It was like you're never gonna pass through TSA screening with this stuff. <laughs> like, how come there's no underwear in here? <laughs> oh, you, you go commando. Where are your pants? <laughs> He's like, it's very European fashion. <laughs> they wear sar- wrap, saran wrap around the legs. Yeah, it's like the movie Hostel, but real. All the Muslims in London are doing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, have, it you make sense. Con- have you seen Kanye's wife? I'm making that exact same outfit. Be like, I'm going to London. Obviously, I'm bringing knives with me. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> like, are you not a world traveler? <laughs> Oh, this must have been. I must have switched my bag at the airport. It's supposed to be somebody else's bag. Oh my god! Oh man! Yeah, so I'm gonna go now. I'll yeah, I'm gonna go. See you in your nightmares. <laughs> Jesus, Christ. here's to live in your mind, rent free forever, bitch. Forever. She's never gonna forget that guy's face. Never. How terrified are you? Like, cause now, like, 
you got to just ghost yourself as a human, right? Oh my god! Because if I'm that, if I'm that guy, that girl's living rent free in my mind forever. I'm thinking about it. it's always going to be the one. You're always oh, it's, where's she now? I wonder if he like. I wonder if he got enough out information her wonder- about her. Like, where are you from? Oh, where'd you grow up? Oh, where'd you go to school? You know what I'm saying? Like. Oh yeah, because we talk to somebody for three oh hours on a first date. Oh my god! Where are you from? Oh, really? I love that there. Oh yeah. Oh, you go, oh you play do to do or oh, oh your family's still there. Oh, that's great. Oh, your dad owns a store in town. Are your oh, parents married yeah. or divorced? Oh yeah. <laughs> you don't have a dad? Okay. Oh, game on, Stacy from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. <laughs> <laughs> Dad owns Carlson's insurance. Yeah. Uh, 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 Your parents uh, been divorced uh, since you were four. Okay. Uh, yeah. How'd you get through med school? Yeah. I'm like, I'm that guy. I'm going to her hometown. Right? Like, I'm keeping tabs on her. I mean, does, that's a secret. Do the cops like keep checking in with her? Like, no, how does that? That's Newark, what you need they, to know. Newark cops, they don't give a but, fuck. But like, we're going to like keep don't watching her. How long ago watching did this happen? Her did this just happen? Yeah, relatively in the last, you know, six months or so. Jesus. Where are they watching? Are you giving a protective custody? Some white girl had a fucking guy hit, knock on her door? What the fuck are they what doing? If what if they're New York PD? Do you think they give a fuck, bro? What if she was just really bored and there was no guy? She just did it herself. And she's just an attention grabbing skank. <laughs> I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised. It's like my life is very unfulfilling. I need to I need to brighten it up. She's, in the, she's just in the bedroom pounding on the door herself. She was on in a dark was, in a deep voice. She was on acid. She was, Open on, the door, she, <laughs> she was on acid and saran wrapped her whole apartment. I tried this thing called microdosing, but I think I took too many. <laughs> <laughs> this is terrible. We're horrible. We're horrible people. <laughs> she edged herself. <laughs> She's the serial edger. She was like, she was fucking using a vibrator the whole time. She was on the phone with 911. She's like, I'm a squirter. It's not my fault. The cops came. She just full released. Terrible. It's not even like an funny. airbag. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like a whoopee cushion. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fantastic. Uh, yeah, no. Mm. Yeah, so like that's what I like. I'm keeping tabs though. If I'm the curler, I'm keeping tabs. I got enough information on our first date. I know where you fucking grew up. Well, also what sport you played in high school. I well, know it all. I'm surprised I'm you didn't do tabs. The, I'm surprised you didn't do the typical girl thing where like she sent his picture to like the girls, friends. They're like, oh, what do we think? This is guy handsome. Like, oh, this is what he does. This is his name. You know what I mean? Like, isn't I, that a typical thing I, when I, you like go on like a date? I think like, it's like a typical thing when you go on enough dates where it's like you know, like Devin, she'd be like, I would always share my location with my like sister. Uh-huh. Well, you know, like people, I think when you're like dating, you, as a girl, like you do that, but this chick was probably just hasn't done it. She's probably like, I haven't been on a date in fucking five, I haven't gotten fucked in five years. I'm going to go on a date with this guy. Just do to do. In her mind, she just wants to go on a regular date. Like people used to go on dates. Like God forbid someone just, hi, I'm, I'm so-and-so. Yeah, I think you're really pretty. Would you, you want to get coffee sometime? Yeah, sure. I'll meet you uh, tomorrow at noon. How easy is that? Oh my people God. have to complicate things. And it should just be that. You should just be able to meet a nice guy or meet a nice girl and go have coffee and kick it off. And like that's all dating should be. Now it's just so overcomplicated. She probably didn't know it had to be all complicated. Yeah. Sharing locations and sending pictures. Who the fuck knows, man? Who knows? Yeah, I don't know. It's fucking sketchy. It's sketchy out there. I'm glad I'm not a girl. Same. 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 Yeah. Man. Man. I got to make that a movie. That's like a movie that could be a good, like, that could, that could be a good, that could be a serial, it could be a good, like, Netflix series. Serial, the serial edging or the, or that actual or story. Just anything. That story. The second season, the guy comes back, he finds her. <laughs> so it's like leaving her trinkets. It's like, it's like you. The show kinda, you, Joe kinda, Goldberg. Kind of like that, Joe right? Joe Goldberg. Kind of like that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think Joe ever intentionally means to kill people. He just, no, he was just a lover. natural. He was a lover. It was just accidental. Yeah. They just didn't understand how much he loved them. <laughs> yeah. What I would do for you. <laughs> yeah. You are mine. You're mine. You don't know what I would do for you. How much I love you. I oh, Jesus. Yeah, people are fucking crazy, man. <laughs> goes through people's mind like i'm gonna go on tinder i joke about that stuff but it's really fucking horrible you gotta joke about it yeah but it's horrible i (laughs) it's i have daughters it's fucking terrifying dude yeah dude it's terrifying yeah dude like i don't like we're guys it doesn't matter like how tough you are or what's how your size has nothing to do with it like you're just not really like a target like that you're not a target like that as a guy you're not like freak occurrence like you know i guess Dahmer. he liked the the dudes but that was like some they were on some gay shit yeah it was like 
But like generally he's like speaking, killing twinks. Yeah, generally speaking, though, I can go on Tinder. I don't have to worry about some dude murdering me. Unless or, you get catfished. Unless you get catfished. But then, like, you know, I guess shit happens. But generally speaking, we don't have to worry about that. No, no. That's like something you got to worry about. People are sick, man. I mean, we got, ro- I got roofied. I was there. The time, right in front of me, I got roofied. I got roofied. And I was on accident. Not that day, but. Maybe some of you think they tried to roofie me on purpose. <laughs> I don't know what the I don't know what the plan was there. Accidental roofies. I mean, I, how long I worked in the clubs for a long time. I know more guys that got roofied on accident than I know of girls that got roofied. I would literally, if I saw a guy trying to roofie a girl, I would probably beat him within an inch of his life. Like that's the most pathetic shit ever. I knew a guy. Uh, this guy Corey I used to work with. His girl got roofied by a, a guy in Charlotte. Like this dirtbag, they used to come in. His buddy, they would come to the clubs, and he found out it wasn't roofing; it was G. That was the thing. It was a like yeah, GHB. Yeah. yeah, that was like big down there. People would get G'd all the time, and he found out, dude. He beat this guy's fucking ass right in the middle of the street, right in trade and try and Charlotte went right up to him in the street, fucking hit him so hard. I never met, forget the sound; it like echoed in the streets. Damn. And that's when Charlotte was cool too, because we knew all the cops because we were like at, we worked at the bars. And the cops were like, what happened? And then they told him. He's like. <laughs> And they just shrugged and like, all right, have a good night. And they just let this guy, literally this when, guy was just like dead in the street, dude. Just fucking. It was back when people were cool. It was back when people were cool. Back when there wasn't fucking smartphones, bro. When you couldn't film things. You yeah. li- that wasn't that long ago. You literally couldn't. Pixelated, pixelated nudes. You could, Yeah, bro. We talked about pixelated <laughs> razor boob pictures. Yes. You couldn't film an altercation. Are you kidding me? Fuck. Now forget about it. You can't mm-hmm. even you can't even have a good old fashioned fist no. fight anymore. No, you can't. You can. I mean, you can, but just gotta have enough money for a lawyer. That's all. Yeah, a couple of grand, or have no money, or just have no money and be like, <laughs> no one can sue you if you don't have anything. But you can sue me. How much? Twenty grand? Sure, go like, for it. Like, Come get it. I don't got shit. Come get it, pal. Yeah, I still have your dignity. You're not going to find my living room saran wrapped anytime soon. <laughs> I can't. That story is so crazy. God, going on a date and just getting Patrick Bateman. Fuck. I actually learned a lot about blood. Don't just stare at it. Eat her ass. <laughs> <laughs> Sabrina. Sabrina. Don't just stare at it. Eat her ass. <laughs> That's right. I it's see, hip to be square. Yeah, it's Huey Lewis in the news. Oh my god! Do you see, that's like I say Dexter, but it probably was closer to some like finance bro who watches fucking American Psycho religiously, and it probably like emulates Patrick Bateman. And that's in his mind. That's probably what inspired him to do that. He was in her bathroom, and she had good mirrors, and he had his shirt off, and he was just making a muscle, and he was like, oh, "You can do this. You can do this. You can do this. You can do this. You can do this." Yeah, Paul Allen. <laughs> Paul <laughs> Allen. He's looking at the mirror. He goes, Paul Allen. Paul <laughs> Allen. Yeah, this, he, this is probably, bone white. Bone white. white. Bone white. Yeah, he's probably just some entry level finance, bro. It's boner time. <laughs> Makes like 250, 300 a year. You gotta hype yourself up to really get to that level. He's like, it's gonna take me. He's like, it's gonna take me an hour and 45 minutes to saran wrap this entire place. He was just sitting at like a meeting the next day, just thinking about his chain family. smoking cigarettes, like. chain smoking cigarettes, like sitting at a meeting, talking about like quarterly numbers, thinking about how he was almost going to murder somebody the night before. And he's just like, he's like, they're like, uh, Steve, uh, he's like, oh, yeah, sorry, sorry, yeah, uh, 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 Q, Q2 slightly up. He's like, two hours and 15 minutes. They're like, what? Like, uh, nothing. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> That's how long it took me to surrender rap for apartment. <laughs> If I can get it down to an hour 30, <laughs> <laughs> he's just sitting in the corner like Grammy. He's like, hour 45, two, two, hour, two hours 15, oh two my hours God. 15. Oh, my God. Uh, 437, 437. He's like, I didn't, I didn't anticipate the door being locked. 215 cubic feet of saran That's wrap. That's crazy. Imagine he did go back to work, and they're like, he was not paying attention, and they're like, ask him a question. He's like, I didn't anticipate there being a, a, door, a locked door. <laughs> they're like, what the fuck are you talking about? They're like, can you speak to this, Steve? Uh, I wasn't anticipating the door being locked. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> they're like, they're like yeah. okay. <laughs> Told you not now, Connie. I'm in the middle of something. Can we talk about the uh, the quarterly inventory numbers? Uh, there, there was a surplus of saran wrap. 
I didn't need to buy that much. Yeah, Steve, you can't expense Saran wrap. <laughs> we don't. We don't have a, a use for Saran wrap. Uh, Steve, there's a couple of line items uh, from last month. We just got to go over for your expenses. Uh, saran wrap. There's a, a lot of Saran wrap, Steve. <laughs> Why would you go to Restaurant Depot for that, Steve? It was on sale. <laughs> <laughs> it was a b- blowout sale. Yeah. 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 At the dollar store. Yeah. Steve, this, you, you bought 375 rolls of saran wrap at the dollar store? Uh, we also see some we also see some <laughs> uh, some transfers to your cash app and then to the dark web. What were you buying on the dark web? <laughs> Snuff films. Steve, did you really have to spend $475 on a Toomey rolly bag? <laughs> how are you how, how are we how are we justifying that to uh to HQ? Uh, so you missed your flight to London. Um <laughs> uh, you know, the, there was no cancellation insurance on that. We're going to have to dock your pay. <laughs> Jesus, Steve. Steve, you fucked <laughs> up. <laughs> Just give this guy a random name. <laughs> Fucking Steve. It was that guy. It was that Clark guy, the guy from the internet. What That, that finance bro from oh, Boston. Yeah, What's yeah, his yeah. name? I, locked in. Locked in. Yeah, that guy is just locked yeah. in, bro. Oh, my God. It's probably Paul's friend. He probably works with Paul. Probably is Paul. <laughs> <laughs> probably is Paul. I could totally see Paul being a serial edger. Because <laughs> he's like such a nice guy. It's probably his roommate, actually. It's Walsh. It's definitely Walsh. <laughs> Walsh is such a bro. He'd be fucking up so easily. Yeah. Paul's just running around Charleston, like half convincing girls are going to die. I mean, judging by his messages, <sighs> I am South Carolina. <laughs> I, I am, am the U.S. Army. <laughs> I am the Saran Wrap King of South Carolina. <laughs> I've said, yeah, two hours and fifteen minutes. <laughs> Just has Aspergers. Like, fucking, <laughs> like Steve, Steve, your performance reviews are really bad I, this month. I'm retarded. <laughs> like, uh, I have autism. Here's the thing, Joe. Here's the thing, Joe. I'm basically retarded. Mm. I'm basically a serial killer trapped in a. Uh, <sighs> In an institutional trader's body. Jesus. In my mind, I'm Paul Allen. That guy is going to be in Montauk this summer, chilling. In an eight person <laughs> share house? In an eight person share house. Yeah. Fuck. Someone goes missing in Montauk. You How know many Zins do you think he had up his ass when he was saran wrapping that apartment? Yeah, let's talk about that. Let's let's, <laughs> let's 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 get off the topic of of murder for a second. Let's let's talk about this new let's see the time. 51 minutes. No, maybe. I knew we could almost get an hour out of that. Yeah, that's a good. Yeah. Uh, f- should we talk about Zins now or the next episode? We'll wait for the next we'll one. We'll wait for the next one. That's some, we'll circle back on this. That's some some disturbing in, in new Zin trends, which I don't, I don't, I can't really see myself getting behind. No, nah, we'll talk about it in the next episode. We'll talk about the next episode. So I think. Steve, Steve tighten you, it up. Steve, if you're watching. Where's your commitment? We would absolutely love to interview you. We won't call the cops. We'll like figure it out. We'll do some type of thing. Listen, Steve, you could be the best. You could be the best. And you might just be. But with our help, we'll get you to the next level. You're good. But with our help, you could be great. Yeah. How bad do you want it, Steve? And don't don't be sorry that it didn't work out, Steve. Just be better. Just be better. <laughs> and, and on, on that, that note, cue the Calypso. Cue the Calypso, baby.